Hey everyone, this is Michael Hoops with OG Beer Tours. I am here with Guy McConnell at Grimm Brothers Brewing Company. Prost. They just celebrated their 11th anniversary and we're coming up on fest season. So Guy, what are we drinking here? This is the Farmer's Daughter Oktoberfest Lager that we uh, just were releasing today actually. And uh, it is probably my favorite seasonal, one of our most popular seasonals for sure. Um, absolutely delicious, malty um, Oktoberfest that will run through the Oktoberfest season. Yes. Prost. Yeah, I love, it's got a rich malt background, mm -hmm. kind of a bit of a caramel toast, but it's dry and crisp. Yep, the hop profile dries it out a little bit on the back. Beautiful amber color. Great beer. Nice and creamy. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell us about Grimm Brothers? Uh, well, so Grimm was founded by uh, Don Chapman and Aaron Heaton, who were home brewers in the uh, Liquid Poets Society up in Fort Collins. So those two guys started brewing. They liked to make German lagers. There was not many people doing German lagers at the time. Started winning a few awards, and it's like, hey, there's a there's a niche out there for for this kind of beer. So you know, they they started doing the uh, the German lagers and decided to do a brewery, found a brewery. So it's. The brewery is still across the parking lot where it used to be. We had a little tiny tap room over there that would seat about 20 people. And uh, the day we opened, over a thousand people showed up. So it was uh, clear that we needed a larger space. So about a year later, we moved over here into this tap room and then we expanded a couple of buildings over when uh, some of our neighbors moved out. So um, these guys, uh, there's different stories on how the Grimm name came about, but it is inspired by the Grimm fairy tale, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Our uh, mash tun and um, kettle are named Jacob and Wilhelm, and then all of our fermenters are named after Grimm characters as well over there in the, in the brew house. Um, but it, you know, initially it was like, yeah, do we really want to do this fairy tale thing? And then you start looking at how many stories there are, how many characters there are. It's like there's a pretty rich background of stuff for us to do with this. So uh, Grimm brothers stuck, and we happened to get. Um, come across a gentleman by the name of Josh Emmerich, who was just starting out from uh, Tenfold Collective, I think was the name of the company he worked for downtown in Loveland. So he was just getting started, Grimm was just getting started, and he came up with the characters a little bit darker, a little more adult than the Disney characters, more like the, the Grimm fairy tales, and a little bit sexy, I would say, but not, <laughs> not over the top um, with, the, with the ladies, but um, so all that artwork is from him, the original characters, and then we built off of that later on. He's moved on to other things. I think he lives in Washington now or somewhere. And he, he was at, uh, he's done art for Cop Pop Copper Kettle and a couple of other um, breweries and many other things since then. But you know, like I said, it was kind of a, a chance meeting and you know, we both started out together and I think it worked out well for both of us. Awesome. Well, prost. Prost.